So, what just happened that we all missed? Face Man where the interstate is. was coming down this hill before BA and I, and he just tapped the gas on this icy road and he just spun 90 degrees sideways, wedging himself in between the ditches on both sides and put the front end right into a small hillside. And it looks like it's thrown off the alignment, and now we just gotta make it down this icy hill to safety. Look how fun this is. We gotta try. This is so slippery, we almost slid in that creek like a bunch of times. Log my oh crap, oh crap. Hey. We made it. So this is the campsite where fun stuff like this happens. Oh my goodness. Oh man, that looks great. <laughs> no more. No! Hi Tyra! Oh my goodness. Hi Tyra! No! 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 Stop! Wait, just tag the way from the bottom. Nasty Woo! Natalie! Part two is that feels sideways now. I don't know what happened to it, but I think it's Samuel's fault. Else, Who's Samuel? Mennonite tire guy who doesn't believe in quality. Or Santa Claus. <laughs> Santa Claus, just another god. <laughs> I was saying that used to be like 10 feet lower. Oh, that was a bald eagle. You yeah, remember that boat launch used to go way past the end of those weeds there? Oh, yeah, that's more than two feet higher than That's probably five. There's a lot of grass. You can... The boat launch went past, there was like a little stone beach. It was like a foot long. Look how fast that is, too. You don't want to get in that. I could swim across it. If you went in and started swimming here, you'd probably get out over there. Hey, and you like swimming when it's 90. I had to swim, I was swimming. Well, look how high the water was. This fell down. Yeah. Well, yeah, look how high the water was. <laughs> Joel's camp was probably underwater. Probably was. We gotta come back. Seems like it'll be so shallow. It's everything Joel wanted. My goodness, who wants to open the flap? Dang, they didn't mess around. Let's get a picture before it becomes tarnished. Someone walked off with the sign. Probably put it on their own eye. <laughs> there's, there's light now, so the mine. <laughs> you never know. Possum could have took it. You never know. And it looked like something's living under there. You know, I liked it when they made one out of asbestos. You wouldn't have to worry about that. Some nice stainless steel hardware there. Let's see how making it home goes. So icy. I would personally like to give all of our vehicles a round of applause for making it up that bobsled track. Oh, uh, it's pretty okay. You can't go over 25. What's it feel like? Well, we should have our flashers on then. I mean, by the time we're in Pleasantville, too, we're almost to Titusville. I don't think that would have happened if it was a line right there. Jump out, make sure nothing was going to catch on fire. This you know, place is awful, I'll tell you how we're going to it. That's a good place to start. It's clearly not a line right, that's not the stealing box. It was sketchy, I must have lost control there. When you turned, it swerved. Oh, it must have put itself under that pole, I had to turn it like 180 degrees. You know, just like, uh, this is going to be doing one good thing for the fuel economy. Real good MPG. I don't know the single digits for this. This is my parade going gear. I smell something burning, but isn't you, right? And not the usual BA burning smell. Yeah, I was gonna say it's probably just me, but I don't know. Do you guys smell something? I think it's gone. I just don't really use how something was. Do we need to get off the road? Are you sure? Maybe, I don't know. I saw a bunch of white smoke come up. Maybe just hit something. Here's some rocks up. I know, maybe it just hit something. How rude. You uh, get that effing truck off the road or something? Pull off right here. Back at the spot where the speedboat tire blew out. Wow. With a fender too. 
Well, I guess somebody should go get the tire. Left more. It did a very bad job on lining. Some of those easier to control. Same on the road better. It's weird, like you let off and it's wanted to go like 40 miles off into the ditch. Kind of hard driving. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it was pretty hard going slow. Was it? Yeah. It's easy for me going slow. It's like chirp, 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 chirp. Really? You went over like 20. You got your rocket pad all apart when you hit the ditch. Or no, I didn't. I did that when I was getting back my fender. Oh, that happened earlier? Yeah. I was going to buy a rocket pad on Rock today. Did I? Yeah, it's not much money. Like, wait, why is the wheel like you get so far from that one? Oh my god, that's one. Spacer lap. You think those spacers when you take that power off? It's like, it's fine. What's going on, dude? Exhaust. Economy, just shut your truck off. Truly, I could just coast this. T Vegas in the distance. I guess we'll see. Could be wrong. Come on, it's the aim. Look at those people that drive like 45 on this road. Yep. It's just doing real good. Got a parade going back there. Do you know how hilarious this is going to look when we drove like 15 miles at 20 miles an hour and then pull into a Little Caesars? Look how far goes my line. We're going like 20 miles an hour in a 55 and these people won't pass. It's more of an adventure this way. It's leaning. Oh my gosh. Can you rock it? The ball joint or the bearing goes to that. It's doing that now. Oh my I gosh. I don't know what else caused the bottom. Look at that ball joint. That ball joint is exposed. It's exposed like on the other side too, that's how they are. That could be a problem. What actually was the problem was the camber bolts on that wheel were not tightened enough and the impact shook them way out of position and that caused the toe end to be way off and the camber to look wonky. So, uh, fun stuff. I'd just like to say it's like four degrees Fahrenheit right now. What happened here, Jim? It broke. <laughs> no. Okay, so right now we're driving across a frozen lake and it has islands on it and Murdoch, <laughs> that guy, is recounting the tales of when he went hunting and got covered in ticks. Just walked on. Now all those ticks on me, that's one. It would be a good spot to do a top speed hunt. It would be. Text Travis. So, long story, but we ended up in Cleveland, nowhere near the summit where we were supposed to be. And Murdoch left us miles ago, so we're berating him and regathering, letting BA's truck cool off. Help me down, Bruce! That guy. And be on our way. Text Travis and say he's one lazy. Your message to Travis Curtis says he's one lazy. Ready to send it? Adios, Travis. Send away. I'll send your message. That's pretty great. How do you do? How do you calibrate this? Uh, it's in settings. BA just found clearance of leaf springs for his favorite saggy bottom XJ. Oh yeah. <laughs> BA just found clearance fender flares for his favorite XJ. Don't make it, bitch. Look at that little car. Oh, more. It is now the hottest it's been all day, a balmy 7 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh.